Do we have a plan ready? I don't know if it's fair to describe it as a plan, necessarily. <clears throat> I've done a bit of scouting. The Revanites are camped in the Temple of the Ancients, an old ruin nearby. We've gotten this far without being detected. It's time for you to go in and make some noise. What? This isn't what we discussed? It's suicide! I demand that you detach me this instant! What kind of security do the Revanites have? They've convinced some of the local Rakatan tribes to patrol the areas around the temple for them. A truly barbaric lot. The Revanites themselves are guarding the temple grounds. They're fully armed and paranoid. Wonderful. We'll be keeping an eye on things from the ship. As long as we all stay sharp, we'll get this conspiracy shut down permanently. May the Force serve you well. Okay, that route is not working out like we planned. We'll have to head along the beach and straight through Rakata Central. Sorry. Sensors are showing a lot of movement in the temple. The Revanites are mustering their defenses. Derek and Argus are in there somewhere. Just keep moving. Excellent work. Theron is slicing into the facility's structural plans now. It's not looking great. Your only option is to pass through the conscription center, dead ahead. The cyborgs ahead are in some kind of standby mode. They'll activate as soon as you enter the room. Be ready for a fight. Blasted sensors. Lana, could you do a quick perimeter check? I can't tell if these contacts are real or not. Right away. All right, we don't have much time. 
We can't risk any of the tech in that conscription center falling into Imperial hands. Overload the console. It'll fry everything inside and kill the cyborgs before they have a chance to wake up. We're not going to murder people in their sleep, Theron. We'll take our chances. We've got a Sith breathing down our necks, crazy cultists all around us, and you want to take chances? I won't let fear guide our actions. Do we have something to be afraid of? Apparently not. I'll add the sensors to the list of things on the ship that we can't rely on. We'll contact you if anything else comes up. Roof. Might be Derek and Argus trying to make an escape. Looks like they've got a shuttle. We can shoot her down if we have to, but I'd rather take them in for questioning if you can. Hurry! Please try to headbutt them with your own skull this time. Let's go. Your plans are finished. The conspiracy ends now. My, but we have a very high opinion of ourselves, don't we? This project would have accelerated our plans considerably. Losing it is regrettable, but it will not stop us. You've done a fair bit of damage, it's true, but the project isn't a total loss. After all, you've helpfully delivered yourselves for slaughter. You've infiltrated the Republic and the Empire. Raised an army of fanatics. Why? What are you trying to achieve? We have a plan. You're not a part of it. That's all that matters now. <coughs> you and your simple-minded beast will have the fight you came for, Colonel. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Sweet vengeance. They're yours, Derek. You have them, Arcus. You have them, Arcus. You You're changed, changed nothing. You think you'll walk away from this? We've come too far to sub- I have you now! Impossible! It can't be! No... The plan! Derek and Arcus fought to their last breath. We won't be getting any information from them. Copy that. Blast it. I must agree with my master. They're far more trustworthy as corpses. I sense something. We're in danger. Multiple sensor contacts. Capital ships are dropping out of hyperspace. No IDs. One of them's coming in hot. Arcus and Derek were valuable allies in my cause. But their deaths will not delay what is coming. That voice. It's him. Revan. My infinite army could have achieved so much. But I still have other weapons in my arsenal. You were reported dead. Was that report wrong? Only somewhat. When a goal is important enough, 
One learns to overcome any obstacle. My followers are legion. My ranks grow every hour as more and more people see the truth of the galaxy. The Emperor couldn't break me. Even death could not stop me. I will finish what I've started, and you will not interfere again. They're powering up weapons! Get out of there! Now! Theron, they made it. I knew it. With the amount of fire Revan's ship was laying down, I wasn't optimistic. It's good to see you. <laughs> oh no, I'd nearly forgotten. Several of my internal components were still aboard. The ship is alright, isn't it? The ship is fine. Come see for yourself. There's something we need to talk about, actually. It truly is a relief to see you safe. I only wish we had more time together. I'm not going anywhere, Lana. You don't have to either. I'm afraid I do. Theron and I learned some troubling things after we escaped Rakata Prime. Jakaro took it better than I thought. You told her yet? I think it's best if you do the honors. We'll meet again soon. I'm certain of it. She's pretty confident for someone with a bounty on their head. Are the Revanites putting out bounty contracts now? Not directly, no. It's an Imperial contract for murdering Arcus. Under any other circumstances, she would have gotten a promotion for that kind of thing. They also arranged 12 separate death marks for Jakaro. It's a new record for him. And you? Disavowed rogue agent apprehend on sight. Pretty tame compared to the others. The director must have stood up for me. If you know the director, couldn't he tell you who's behind this? I checked. The evidence of my imaginary crimes came in from our eternal security division, all very well forged. He'll keep looking, but we can't risk more contact. The Revanites haven't been able to touch you yet. Your record is still clean. But it won't stay that way if you're seen working with us. Lana, Jakaro, D4, and I are all going off the grid. We need to stay hidden if we're going to continue our investigation. No contact, period. What can I do while you're in hiding? There must be some way I can help with the search. There is, actually. The Revanites will be watching you, so do what you do best. Travel the galaxy, achieve impossible things, and make it hard for them to keep up. The busier you keep the Revanites, the easier it'll be for the rest of us to slip through the cracks and find their leader. Do you think the masked man who attacked us was really Revan? Oh, you mean as my ancient ancestor returned from the grave to kill us all? Doesn't seem likely, but there was something about him. We need to learn more. All right, I better get moving. The faster we start running, the easier this will all be. Good luck to you. We'll send word as soon as we have something. And then we'll see what this Revan guy is really made of.
Whoa. You look like Jaysa did that time she tried Exobor soup. I had a vision. There was a galaxy neighboring our own, and then... nothing. Every star went dim, both in that galaxy and our own. The end of everything. See, probably just something you ate. Maybe. I hope. Another galaxy? Would you say it was a dwarf galaxy? Forgive me, my lord. I couldn't help but over here. A dwarf galaxy sounds right. What do you know? There is such a galaxy off the outer rim, known as the Rishi Maze. Rishi? I've heard of Rishi. It's a planet. Some kind of pirate resort? Sounds like a real dive. I've kind of always wanted to go. You started receiving these recently. Quinn, set a course. We're going to Rishi. Reach out with your emotions. Let them guide you. Yes, that's it. Shara, tell me. What did you see? It was... it was you. You were in a jungle. Roots and vines, they took you, bound you, and then you were torn apart. You saw the future. One of many possible futures, but a probable one at the very least. Then I heard a voice. A woman. She reached out to me through the Force. She told me you had to go to Rishi. Rishi? You said Rishi? Rishi's been coming up on the Nava computer. I thought it was some kind of glitch. Nothing out there but my kind of people. That is no glitch. It is a message. Let me guess. You're thinking of walking straight into a trap. Perhaps it is a trap. What of it? Tell the crew there's been a change of schedule. I should very much like to visit this Rishi.
Lana Benito. Dark Lord. An honor as ever. And how fares the Dark Council? No matter the obstacles we come to face, we endure. You're a confident one, I'll give you that. Hello, Theron. Is that a good hello or a bad one? Outside of Lana, I can never tell with you Imperial types. Right. Okay, moving on. The Revanites are here, on Rishi. That's why we led you here under false pretenses. They can't know we're on to them. We need you to go out there and make life hard for the Revanites' allies, the Nova Blades. If the Revanites are operating out of Rishi, then it stands to reason their leader is here. That's our suspicion too, but we can't say for sure just yet. From what we've been able to gather, the Revanites' agents in the Empire and Republic have been feeding the Nova Blades intel on ship activity. The Blades then use that intel to ambush military patrols and key shipping lanes on both sides. They're essentially remapping hyper routes. Hate to admit it, but I haven't been able to remotely slice the Blades' computers. I have to have their security shut down. The trouble is, we can't have any suspicion raised that our attack is related to the Revanites' activities. So... Dark Lord. Moff Pyron, ready to report. What do you have for me, Pyron? Your apprentice Ashara briefed me on the Order of Revan. We are discreetly sweeping for infiltrators in your ranks. Good. If I may, I've also prepared a briefing on current military operations. I'll endeavor to be quick. As for the Selenon campaign, Darth Maher is coordinating the Joint Armada with minimal losses. That does raise the issue, however. Our silencer fleet killers are underperforming as the Republic adapts tactically and technologically. We may be able to refine the silencer cannons further, but their radiation output will begin to kill our own gunners. Shall we proceed? Make the refinements, but post a skeleton crew to any ship so equipped. We have only so many troops to spare. Yes, Dark Lord. There is also the question of Alzar. Darth Ravage still believes the natives hold no value and expands rapidly into their territory. Your overseers on Corriban believe the Alzarians might be trained as Sith, but to recruit them now could make an enemy of Ravage. Find a slaving ship willing to slip behind Ravage's mines. Anyone taken from Alzar, we'll gladly pay for. Ravage need know nothing. A clever stratagem. It shall be done. One last order of business. I understand you're on Rishi. Normally, I wouldn't bother you with trivialities, but... Speak, Pyron. You have a servant there by the name of Lord Vigil. Like many, he's been seeking an audience since your ascension. He won't say why or speak to anyone but you. However, Thanaton clearly prized him. He received significant resources for his research. Do we know anything about what he's doing on Rishi? Vigil was designated a seeker into matters exotic and arcane. Quite a few of your researchers have this designation. Whether Vigil's work is productive or, like certain other legacy projects, mere eccentricity is not for me to judge. Where do I find him? I'll send coordinates. Perhaps your archaeologist might assess Vigil's work with some insight as well. Then you are dismissed. My life for yours, Dark Lord. <laughs>